Ah, from okay. Spain? Yeah. Uh, Can I get a... Yeah. A special punk. Mm -hmm. We are preparing a special about the you have... Mark Tour, as you are... We are coming in September. Yeah, I'll let you go first, because I'm just going to shoot the shit. I'm not... I don't have anything like your stuff. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. If, uh, if you want to use the interview... Yeah, I'll, I might steal some of it, but, uh, you know... Yeah. I'll try to jump in, but I don't usually, like, write shit down. <laughs> Sorry. Punk rock. You are signed to MCA, you have released two albums in MCA. That's do you, right. Do you think that a band like, uh, like yours uh, would, it be, would it be more comfortable in a, a part of for the fa from the fact that you are selling uh, a lot of records? If not, do you think that you would be more comfortable or would it be more appropriate to, to be in a label like Fat Poet or, or Epic or something like that? Um, well, for a lot of bands, going to a major label isn't the thing to do, but for us it's worked out really well. And the major label that we chose to go with is very supportive of us. They let us make our own decisions, and they uh, add their suggestions uh, when they think that it is due. And when we say no, that we're not into that, mm -hmm. then they understand, and it's been really good for us. And the only people that have ever ripped us off have been independent labels. <laughs> we we always have the saying though, you know, and it's totally true. With most people that you uh, talk with in the music industry, the like producers, engineers, whoever, the only people that ever rip off. Uh, uh, their employees or people that they work with is uh, independent labels and that's not to say that independent labels are bad because you know the bands on it and they, from what I've heard they've always been really straightforward with their bands and I support them a lot and not only that but they've done a lot of groundbreaking uh, as far as getting new bands out and you know bringing out uh, bringing to the forefront bands that wouldn't have a chance to otherwise so I totally support independent records and uh, independent labels but at the same time for us uh, it wasn't the right thing to do Hmm, but maybe you're an exception because most of the bands that the punk bands are saying, saying from major labels, they, they used to get fucked up. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very possible. Yeah, it's, it's totally possible. The thing, that, that, the thing is, is that uh, major labels are businesses. They're not like benevolent father figures. They're not like uh, your cool friend that's going to hook you up and you know, support you no matter what. Major labels are businesses. And if you're losing the business money, then they're going to fire you. And that's just how it is. And if you accept that fact and roll the dice and say, you know, I want to take my band as far as I can, I'm willing to work as hard as I can for it. it. You know, if you go with an independent label because you like the label and because you think that they can do good things for you, then that's great. But if you don't go to a major label because you're afraid of some kid calling you a sellout or whatever, you know, it's like, why would you not want everybody in the world to hear your music? You know, why would you not want your music in every single record store across the world? Why would you not want that? If you're in a band, you write songs for people to hear it, but then you say, well, I'm going to go on... I'm not even interested in looking at a major level because I just want to sell music to like my five cool friends in my neighborhood or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we're not like that. And we never claimed to be like that. So we just, we don't have any problem with being on a major label at all. Mm -hmm. So we uh, have to suppose that you have absolutely free, absolute freedom in the contract. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, I mean, we can put out uh, seven inches if we want to still. We can be on any compilation that we want to be on. Mm -hmm. We get to choose our video directors. We get to choose our producers. We get to choose our mixers. We get to choose where we record. We get to choose our, you know, our video treatments, like what our videos are going to be about. We get to choose all that stuff. And uh, and when we when we need help, we'll go to MCA and say, well, you know, who would you suggest for a good producer? And they make a few suggestions, and then we say, ah, we don't like any of those guys. We're going to choose this guy anyway. <laughs> and we've done that. And so then they've been totally cool with that because I think that major labels are trying to figure out that bands know what they're about. You know, if you take a band and you try and mold them into something different, then it's going to fail because a band is what it is. And you have to, if you sign a band, you have to let the band do what it's going to do because that's what's going to work. If you try and fit a band into a particular mold, then it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. But maybe if you, if some of we never leave this room. What's that? Um, is that it? No, no, no. no. Your favorite part of the day is coming. What's that? No, we're not doing that. Yeah. No. You're yeah. done with me. I thought we Sorry, said no. Right no you we said we don't like doing something. <laughs> 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 we distinctly said that. We haven't sold three million copies. I don't know if you sold it. Oh, okay. If you, in the case, uh, you sold three million copies, don't you right. say that you can start getting pressure to get like an absolutely pop thing to start pressures that... A uh, what? I'm sorry, I can't understand your question. Oh, no, uh, I mean that uh, if for example you this album with an uh, we can, we can right. you, you sell like three million copies, okay. do you okay. think that you can start getting the real person to, to become more of a more really friendly band? A oh, no, uh-uh. And then uh, get fucked up or for that reason? No, I mean, 
We write songs just the way we we've always written them, and we I mean we it, it's almost impossible to write a radio song. You can't sit down and go, okay, I'm going to write a radio hit right now, because if you try and like write a song, it's just going to sound like everything else and not going to put on the radio. But if you write a song and it turns out to be a good song and it's whatever, then you know, if if I could write a radio song and make them sell three million records, I'd do it. I'd write a whole record of all radio songs and I'd make ten million dollars and I'd just retire. You know, but you know, it's not like that. Who knows what's going to be popular on the radio next week? Hmm. Absolutely true. So, how do you see it look now to the old days when everything wasn't so easy? And it's too late? Oh, I mean, wh what'd you say? How do you see now to the old days when everything wasn't so easy? As it is now? Oh, I, you know, I'm very, very, very thankful to be where we're at. And, you know, we've worked very hard to get to where we are. And we've toured in vans and slept on people's floors and played crabby clubs and coffee houses and driven overnight and you know we've, we've totally paid our dues and but we are still very very lucky to be where we are because there's a million bands out there that are way better than we are that haven't had the opportunities that we have and uh, so we don't take anything for granted at all and, and you know we feel very fortunate to be here. You get a lot of criticism from the punk diehards. Right. Like, well I mean we never claim to be like any punk or whatever I mean we, we've always wrote the exact same song like crappy songs about girls and just, you know, that's all we, that we've ever been about. Right. Another way of criticizing you is using the sense of humor that you use. Oh, right. You see that argument or that statement. Yeah, we're definitely an immature uh, toilet humor band. I mean, that's definitely true about us and, and I don't care. I'm not going to, you know, I... I take life with a grain of salt and I think it's funny and the people that we are on tape and the people that we are uh, on stage are the exact same people that we are off stage. You know, I'm not going to stand up and start talking about politics just because people think that it's not cool to tell fart jokes, you know? That's not who I am. I'm not a political guy and I'm not a serious guy. I'd rather, if I'm going to be in a band, I'm going to have a fun time doing it and I'm going to tell fart jokes, I'm going to look at girls' boobs and it's going to be a good time. <laughs> we are perfect in Asia. Yeah. American <laughs> Okay, tell about the new album. Uh, the new record, uh, basically the same Blink stuff. Um, I think that it, it's the best recording that we've had, I think it's the best songs we've had, and I think it's the best lyrics that we've ever written. So I'm really happy with the way that the record turned out. And it's the first record that we put out that I can say, this is exactly how I wanted the record to sound. Mm -hmm. And the response is like, Oh, it's, it's been good. Yeah, it's been really good. I mean, the record's selling very well, so everyone at the label is very happy and supportive, you know? <laughs> okay, I heard that you were going to... You Hello? An offer from Playboy to, uh, hey, Chris, I was trying to call you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Playboy called and asked if uh, we would be interested in... Uh, they th have a thing, I don't know what it's called, like rock star photographs or ba guys... I don't know what it's called, but uh, guys in bands uh -huh. take pictures of naked girls and Playboy puts them in their magazine. Okay. And so, me and Travis are going to take pictures of naked girls. Mm -hmm. Are you going to do it? Okay. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay, well then tomorrow... Uh, I'm not sure when exactly it's going to be. We'll break out the other tent. But hopefully tomorrow. soon. Okay. okay. Uh, the work tour, because this is for a special about oh, yeah. the work tour. Uh-huh. Talk about that, everything, okay. the variety of the... the work tour is great. Every, this, okay. this is our third year doing it. Uh, the bands are good, the people that put on the tour are great, uh, the athletes are excellent, it's a fun time, the kids are really cool to come out, and you get to see all kinds of music, you get to watch skaters, you get to watch BMXers, you get to watch uh, like everything, it's just a good time, and the ticket price is, is low for everything that the kids are getting, it's like $25 for, what is it, 30 bands are playing today, and skaters and everything, so, <clears throat> so it's good, it's a good thing. How do you take the criticism of, of being a ninth, uh, ninth generation band getting all the money that others didn't get? That is uh, another of the usual. Well, there's, I mean, hey, there's a lot of things that uh, that we've done that other Can bands wouldn't do. Just like being a being on a major label, a lot of bands said, you know, I don't want to be on a major label, and so whatever. I mean, and like I said, we're very lucky to be where we are, and I'm not going to say that that uh, that we deserve it or whatever, because you know nobody deserves what we've gotten, but we have worked very hard. Signing. Okay. I, I gotta go and do this thing. We got another little how you doing to do, guys. Can you get like five minutes, please? We have to be there. In we the can camp. do it maybe later on tonight. Yeah. After the show, you know for that?
Come on, be with us, mom. Okay, sure. Man, that's that's right. Right. Okay. We had to move our setup an hour. Yeah. 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 So we're really squeezed on time. That's fine. So far. Yeah. Anyways, the best moments of the band right. was uh, we had to move all our stuff the first time I heard a song so on the radio. Really mm -hmm. The first time we sold out the we'll Palace in LA. And uh, cool? and when I got my gold record. Those are the three best moments of the band. Uh, hopefully this time, well, we really haven't established ourselves in Europe. Okay, yet, they told so us we can do it later. We should, hopefully okay, we can uh, get a foot in the door. Okay, I'm yeah, you just cool. Yeah,